Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur re -Reckoning with me, Bring It Down. Got a couple of dungeons to dive into. Hmm. Alright, which way would be best? Looks like going this way is going to be more rewarding as far as uh, loot goes. Signet of Torrent, an enchanted silver band, 9% critical hit damage with magic. Garbage, fantastic. Got better stuff off the skeleton than we did the chest. Oh, well, this cavern's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be. Like it was all the way up there. It's cool, you even see roots and stuff coming out of the ceiling. That's uh it's really cool. I feel like most people won't even look up at that direction. A lot of unnecessary detail, but really cool detail. The aesthetics of most dungeons, well, most areas in this game are just it's just top notch. Forcing Signet, 1 health regen per second, and 1 mana regen per second. That's really good. I really like the regen, but I don't want to get rid of the physical damage and the detect hidden, so I'm probably going to keep it as is and not use that ring. Because I do have plenty of health regen off of something else, I don't remember what it was. I'm going to backtrack to that real fast. I think that's going to take me out to that ledge that we saw that chest on last episode that I couldn't get to. I had to guess. Now I'd like to get that taken care of because I don't like leaving chests behind. Yep, here it is. And a body. It's like Brother, pa Brother Padrick's corpse. Brother Padrick has perished while on his personal exploration quest of split, split Rock Deaths. On his body is a tattered journal detailing what happened. Take the journal. Boots of the Torrent for finesse. Okay. I forgot all about that quest. That's back at the uh, monastery in Gorhart, the first town. In the height of crime. It's a weird name for that quest to recover this journal. Alright, do I want to go straight down the center or to this side? Let's go down the center. I'm going to assume that the both paths connect somewhere. So I'm going to plan my exploration. Yep, 
Yep, all right, let's backtrack here then. Go grab that other chest and take care of these two enemies. Deeper into the depths. That's cool. The variety of aesthetic inside all these dungeons and caves and stuff is also just so well done. Aurelia's shoes for sorcery. Pray to Aurelia for the favor of a haughty mistress. A shabby apprentice received this gift to gain an archmage's love. Okay. Tattered journal. Day 7. Keska betrayed me. Thought the girl wanted that foolish cult destroyed, but it turns out she was just bait. Why can't I ever resist a pretty pair of legs? Darn fools keep chanting and smearing that foul-smelling sap all over their faces. Kenarok hired me to kill this cult, but I've only become a another tender morsel for its dark tree god. Some bounty hunter I've turned out to be. They have others. People and creatures penned like cattle in cages. Think we're food, but for what? I need to get out of here. Day 11. Ceremony last night. Or day? I can't tell. Everyone chanting, holding hands. Something was killed, couldn't make out what from my cage. Scream sounded human, mostly. There was a thunderclap, I think. Then every torch in the place went dark. Lots of screams. Wet sounds, smacks and swallows, smell of blood. Been quiet for a while. Not sure what's happening. They forgot about me, I bet. Day 13. She came near. I think it was her. Keska. Hair is white though, legs too long, her voice like teeth scraping on bone, her eyes are so bright. I think she's becoming something else, something different, I think she ate the others. Am I next? Day 21. No sign, no food. Drinking sap, sap that drips from the dark above. Her voice is everywhere, she hunts in the cave, eating with thick wet gulps. I think she forgot me, and my cage. I'm glad it's dark, can't see. Don't want to see. Soon I'll be thin enough to fit between the bars. Then I'll escape. He did not escape. The Journal of Stellan Rayton found in... A Rayton. Found in the Split Rock Depths. A modest mining will be astonished at these findings. So many reagents lie within these woods. The alchemical implications are enormous. Wild Fae pose quite the problem, though. It will take an exorbitant amount of manpower to subdue and control the beasts here. Still, the potency of the plant life here should make it worthwhile. The Fae themselves might be a problem, assuming the fabled city of Issa actually exists. Haven't seen anything to indicate it's real. Wouldn't surprise me if the ruins I keep finding are the only vestige of their rule. Overall, Dalantarth should make quite the profit for the company. Headquarters will be pleased. Well, <laughs> she was a joke. I'm a little overleveled for this area. Now, I'm not too worried about being overleveled throughout the entire game. I think there are some areas that will enemies will be over level 40, and your max level is 40. So the game does scale 
decent the further you go. But some areas like this will probably be a little too easy since I did that DLC first, but I think that was worthwhile. Because you get that experience bonus for completing the DLC. The plus 2% to uh, experience gain. So it's definitely worth doing early on. I got this pretty cool looking armor set, so I can't complain. Now I'll balance it out again, I'm not going to optimize my gear. I'm just going to go for what looks cool. Aim for matching sets as well. And that'll keep me mostly in check power wise. So we turn in this quest, we can go back to Gorehart, turn in that other quest. And then we have another dungeon to go through. I'll probably stop and sell <laughs> sell some stuff before going into the second dungeon. My journal! Oh, I trust this wasn't too difficult to obtain. What of Horus? He is dead. I'm sorry, he didn't make it. A shame that. Thank you for being brave enough to retrieve this, in spite of what happened to Horus. As we agreed, here is some gold for your trouble. I appreciate your help. A Horace Despero. Terrible, terrible what happened to him. I will remember Horace Despero as the bravest gnome I ever had the pleasure to meet. He was one fine, dedicated worker. You don't find that sort of ethic much anymore. All right, and we have a quest to turn in. Should be in Gorehart, if I'm not mistaken. No brother holders up here. Why is he over there? Did I miss something? Oh, that's fine. Alright. Well, let's just go to the next dungeon. Which was the Tale of Two Knights. Two Knights and a Troll, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a faction quest, so it'll probably be a little longer, hopefully a little harder. Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's nice to finally gaze upon the new Thagral. I am Sir Ermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. Ah. Welcome to Thunder Caverns. If you come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. Uh, Sir Kreth. He is my shadow, always there when I need him. And his courage never falters. We are one. When ballads call for Sir Ermer, Sir Kreth will be close behind. Sir Ermer. I am Sir Ermer at your service. My oath-bond brother and knight hand Kreth and I were the knights who returned the flaming sword of Rydark. I believe that there is no higher calling than the House of Ballads. We are all that stands between glory and complete anonymity. Sword of Rydark. It was the fabled blade used to beat back the Bolgan during an incursion many seasons ago. Kreth and I still argue over which of us the blade truly belonged to. Hallam the White. Well, you wish to know about the storyteller? Ha! Not even I know the ballads of Hallam the White. His telling is the most secret of all, and he's worked hard to keep it so. Well, that being said, I have complete trust in his judgment, even about you. Why is his secret? I feel like the whole point of them... The House of Ballads was to share stories and to keep replaying the stories. Why would he keep his secret? I'm looking for the Cairns. You too. Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, Nix the Troll, to give us a bit of trouble and slow our pursuit. Kreth and I have fought Nix more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested in joining our little hunting party, feel free. Okay. He gave us another one of the cairns. Fantastic. That dungeon will loop back around. Lunala's leggings. It's a long description. Sending over the corpse of her now deceased husband, Alan, 
a Varani woman wept tears upon the ground. Staring up at the full moon as it reached its zenith in the sky, Alan prayed to Lunala for strength in her darkest hour. For 24 hours until the moon reached its zenith once again, she prayed on as her husband's body was taken from the field. Once done, she turned her head back to town when a sparkle of light in the bushes nearby caught her attention. Battle music is playing, but I'm on. Oh, they're in battle. That's good. Well, that's the way forward. This is just some bonus experience. Since we're over here, let's go and grab the reagents that are laying around. <laughs> okay, that was a waste of my time. The higher your alchemy skill, the higher chance you have of actually finding reagents when you collect them. Well, since I'm not investing into it at all, chances are very slim that I'll find anything. I don't know if certain reagents have a higher, or I guess a lower chance of being found when you try to collect them, or if it's just a default percentage across the board. Alright, chill out, man. Also checking these corners for like skeletons and stuff uh, because they don't show up on the map even with maxed out detect hidden. So it's worth going around and checking all the corners because skeletons oftentimes have good loot, at least in my experience. Stay with us, friend. Why don't you stay with me instead?
not through yet. Well, this is what, four? Yep. So I found the last one, which I'm assuming is being uh, protected by the... by Nyx the Troll. Or Nyx the Human. Because he's a, he wants to become a human. The reason why we can't accept him for what he wants to be. Buddy, That was easy enough. Uh, here we could do mercantile, I guess. What does this give me? I wouldn't mind having been uh, this this one here. Though I can see the spelling being good as well to make that a little easier, because it's a lot harder than lock picking. A lot more dangerous than lock picking as well. So yeah, let's do it this way. I might get Warcry. Uh, what else do we got? No, let's go ahead and put points into this. Max this out. Because so I want to have this ability. I don't get anything from Brutal Weaponry 3 for the hammer. Which is dumb. I don't know why you can't have a dodge attack with the, with the great hammer, but whatever. But I would like to have this. Crushing Blow. After a time parry, attack with the hammer to lift and smash your enemy. I think that'll be good. Don't bother me. I'm not your brother. Not yet. Fight well, and perhaps I'll look upon you with fresh eyes. Uh, Sir Kreth? My true name is Trek, and I am the first and only one to have acted in the role of Sir Kreth. He was the sternest of heroes. He had no taste for pageantry and decorum. Sir Ermer. Ermer and I have sworn allegiance to one another first and foremost. When his sword draws blood, mine is soon to follow. It has been so for seasons. Court of Enchantments. It is no foul trick to find yourself one of the chosen few. It is not a jest or a game or a trifle. It is responsibility to be undertaken with dread caution. No dustling has ever fallen in with the ranks of the court. So far, our banner has fallen. Now why can't you kill Nyx? Oh, I could kill him if I wish to, but that is not how the song is sung. Have you any other stupid questions? Okay, you jerk. Goodbye. That wasn't so terrible now, was it? Still, I'm baffled as to why Nyx was outside Sunder Caverns. It was surely not to play his part in the coming ballad. There's more going on here than Kreth and I are party to, and I want to know what. We'll speak again back at the House of Ballads. And Sagro, thank you. These are times of change, and we all must be in our guard. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. I have to do anything with either one of those chests. Oh, gotta go this way. <laughs> Alright, well, two dungeons cleared. That's pretty good. We'll travel back to the Ballads Library, turn this in. With excellent. 
Excellent. But you've returned without the most important cairn of all. Troubling. But this is a challenge for later. For now, you must break this cursed spell. As you've no doubt noticed, those cairns are warded and will not reveal their secrets. They will, however, last an eternity. Perhaps even longer. I crept an amber. I knew they would find Nyx. After all, it is their telling to deal with his maddening ways, even if that means slaying him time after time. Alright, uh, how do I use them? Those cairns are like lore stones, but special. They are enchanted, and the only way to unlock their contents is to use the Echo Stone. The one in the next room is one of Hallam's early attempts, but it should work. Go listen to two knights and a troll. Find the words that will free me from this prison. Now, what is the Echo Stone? It is a magical shrine, specially created to hold the most glorious of Fae songs through tragedy and time. There is one in the other room. See you okay. Soon. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the echo stone etches each ballad in memory. Uh, two Nights in a Troll, Part 1. The story of two valiant souls I bring. Of the lords named Aermer and Crethi Sing. Two hearts united against common foes. The thoughts of one in mind, the other knows. Lord Creth of Knights, most stoic and grave. Lord Aramur's hand and shadow the brave. And gentle Aramur, his equal in might. Dawn to Creth's dusk, day to his night. Here is the tale of how they stopped a troll. The maid of Windermere. Corrupted its soul. Right, and part two. The troll named Nyx had a most troubled heart. In nature was it displeased with its part. It hated its difference from the norm and wished to shed its current form. In grief it went to the maid of Windermere. She motioned to Nyx and beckoned him near. It is your wish to be human, I see. She whispered to the troll in glee, I shall grant your wish and make you so. You are a human now, she cackled. Go. Part three. And so the troll named Nix to town it came, never suspecting it was still the same. It crushed the road and split the wall, and Kreth and Aramur were sure to fall. They faced the troll and fought to no avail. The wise knights knew what was wrong in our tale. The treacherous maid of Windermere at play. We know in part what is wrong with this fay. And so Lord Aramur shouted to Lord Cref. Challenge this troll to a duel to the death. Part four. I know we've listened to all these through the lore stones we found, I believe. Yeah, we've listened to some of these through the lore stones, but ah, we're gonna listen to them again. It's fine. Part four. The troll still under the wicked maid spell, and was human in thought, and all was well. Rampaged throughout the countryside in joy, treating all as toys. Lord Aermer slowly approached him and said, If you are human, deal as such instead. Faith us, if that is your fate. Duel us, and reveal the truth of your state. Then the troll and fay did battle and fought. Alas, all was not as the troll had thought. Part 5 After he had won, Lord Kreth said to Nyx, with a mind to ease and a will to fix. You are a troll, and that is good, my friend. You have no faults, no wrong to mend. But if it be your wish to join their kind, a better way you must find. There is not wrong with following your will, as long as it does not bring others ill. 
Again, the heroes of honor stayed true. The story of a troll, and the knights too. Did you discover the words to the counterspell? I... But you've no faults to mend. I thought that was it. Apparently not. See you soon. Are you ready to speak the counterspell? Uh, you're a human now. Go. That's it. That's it. Hear me, and don't forget a word. What Hallam feared is coming to pass. Somehow, using a new and twisted magic, the Maid of Windermere hopes to alter the telling. At this moment, she possesses the single most important song in our canon. The Hero and the Maid. If its story changes, we are all at risk. You must warn the House of Ballads. Time is running out for all of us. Okay, uh, Tenwa. I am Tenwa, formerly a knight of the House of Ballads. Many seasons ago, I was asked to give up my post and come here to work on the Fey Cairns. Hallam has trusted me with protecting the catalog of legendary summer feats. I guarantee that every song is sung as it should be. Nix the troll. It is good you killed him. He deserved it for working with the likes of the maid. Of course he will be back, so don't get too self-congratulatory. Uh, fake cairns. They were designed by Father Atair, a mortal, and I worked with Hallam the White to fashion the enchanted cairn shell itself. Quite a discovery they are. It took more than a season to conceive of, and then create the first working cairn. But it has been worth all my efforts. Our songs of summer are safe for now. Echo Stone. It is a form of magic new to our kind, a creation of our own Hallam the White. It is what he and I have been doing here in the library these past few seasons. Lore stunts have become a common magic among the young races. They are readily made, changed, and defiled. We Fey need a new currency of telling, a new way. The Echo Stone and the Fey Cairns are the latest in a series of experiments, as Hallam and I seek a way to protect and perpetuate our greatest songs. So some of these we have heard her say already, but some of them are changed. So I'm just going to listen to all of them, just to make sure that I don't miss anything. A uh, Ballad's Library. The Great Collection was commissioned by Lord Issa himself. But it was Hallam the White who championed its creation and who crafted the Fey Cairns. As long as the library and its many cairns remain, the songs of summer will have a place in this world, being sung again and again for an eternity. Uh, two Knights and a Troll. It is a tale of what happens when one wishes to become something he has not. In this case, the subject of the song was Nyx the Troll, a loathsome, pitiful brute. As a jest, the Maid of Windermere enchanted Nyx into believing he was an ordinary man. He attempted to settle in a quaint mortal village to predictable disaster. When the knights Kreth and Aramur arrived, they treated him like the man he longed to be. They challenged Nyx to a gentlemanly duel and slew him in fair combat. Uh, what should I do? Go find Wenson and Hallam. It may already be too late. See you soon. All right, back to the House of Ballads. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Had to finagle my way past the quest marker. Search the Empire ten times over, but you will not find your beloved Wenson, nor his foolish court of enchantment. She has some cool looking armor. They, like you, are mine. Dream of me, lovely, for we shall be together soon. The time is coming. Okay. How may I assist you? Uh -huh. Hello Dallin. again, my friend. I believe congratulations are in order. Isn't that how you mortals express appreciation? 
Maybe. Alright. Good. You are well. The same cannot be said of the king, nor of the court of enchantments. In my absence, the maid has taken them. Taken them all. Tenwa says that the greatest of ballads, the hero and the maid, was not recovered. This song above all the others must be found. You have acted as our agent thus far, Sagril. Do you continue to stand by us? With all our heroes gone, you may very well be our last light in the darkness. That was the hero and the maid. In that ballad, King Wenson defeats the maid of Windermere once and for all. He confesses his love to trick her into an embrace. It is close enough for him to strike. If the maid is truly altering our ballads towards more favorable outcomes for her and her minions, then she could rewrite her own demise. She could avoid it altogether. Uh, tell me about the fake herds. You are no stranger to death, so you must have felt it. The fall of all magic. I have foreseen it for seasons. And as I am not one to stand by, I chose to act. With a small group of dedicated individuals, fey and mortal alike, I set about preparing a way for the great songs of the Summer Court to find permanence. The Cairns are the result of this effort. They are magic, but magic that will not fade. And what's next? I knew I could count on you. In the face of uncertainty, your loyalty has proven steadfast. It is no use for us to combat the Maid of Windermere when we do not understand her new magic. There is only one man I know who might shed light on our ignorance. His name is Father Eter. He is a monk and an alchemist, and a trusted friend. Eter may have the answers we seek. The Hero and the Maid. It is the foundation of our great inheritance. The canon of stories celebrated by all the Summer Fae. In it begins our timeless struggle with the Maid of Windermere. Driven mad by our love for King Wenson, the Maid finally ensnares him with a spell of longing and retreats to her castle. There she waits to consummate the union. All is not lost. Wenson fights the enchantment, inspired by his ardor for Belmaid, his true beloved, taking the maid in his embrace. He slays her once and for all. Uh, Father Eter. I have known Eter for forty seasons. He believes in his god's order, and I have learned to respect his beliefs. Aside from being a follower of Metharu, Eter is the most skilled alchemist I have ever known. His wise gaze peers even deeper into the mysteries of life than mine. A fake Ernst. The creation of a new form of magic, a permanent magic, was a necessity for our kind. The rise of the mortal races coincides with our decline. Lore stones are a faulty method of remembrance, one that can be changed, destroyed. But the Kerns, they are invulnerable to harm. They are forever. Now where is Father Eter? Father Eter watches over a small Almain mission in the southeast, St. Edric's. You will know it by the ruins on the hill. Go. Find Eter. Can I fast travel out of here? Because I would like to go. Star Camp? All right, let's go do some mercantiling real fast, and then my plan was to go to Star Camp in the next episode and speak to all the NPCs there and knock out all the Star Camp conversations. I think that's still my plan. But I guess we'll stop and talk to Father Atair while we're over there as well. Hello, 
appreciate. I what you've said. Left us, Phyllis and I. I thank you. Beware the right, forest. Cool. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to the blacksmith real fast. Have him fix up our stuff. Nope. There's roof beam. I'm sorry. Stranger, it's sick. Keep safe. I am cursed, aren't I? I think from getting one of those answers wrong uh, with the Tale of Two Nights. Or Troll in Two Nights. Twin Night. Whatever it's called. Yep, minus 25% magic resist. Let's go get that taken care of. I remember seeing that pop up, but I never bothered checking to see what the uh, the effect was. Wasn't there a healer? No, she's in Gorehart. Gosh darn it. Alright. Get my towns mixed up. Alright, so we'll go drop off all the unique items that I found, the set pieces. I don't know if you can find a set piece more than once in the game. I'm going to assume that you can, because everything's randomized. So I started collecting the, or saving the uh, uniques too late. So hopefully you can still find, find the uniques more than one time. I think that'd be a better system anyway, since loot does scale to your level. That way you could grind and farm for gear to, uh, For, for your level, so that it, you can actually use it. <laughs> Alright, she's up here. We'll get healed up. May I help you? Yeah, uh, fix me. There we go. And to Star Camp. Yeah. Alright, next episode we will begin exploring Star Camp. We'll talk to all the NPCs here that we can, and then we'll talk to Father It's Here. That'll probably be it for that episode. It doesn't look super well. It doesn't look super populated with uh unique NPCs, but there's there's a few. I'll assume that that'll take the entire episode. And then obviously Father It's Here outside the camp itself. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next episode.